Let's make our projects much more easier to navigate by getting into bins and how to use them and the different types there are. They can greatly help your editing process and keep your files organized. But real quick, first thing I want to show is naturally you'll show your disk drives over here. I'll just talk real quickly about favorites. This helps you set up any type of directory that you are always going back to. For example, I'll go over to um, my video editing and I have an audio folder and I can right click on it and say add folder to favorites. What that will do now it will add it over to my favorites and now I can just go to that anytime and it will have my favorites there. If I decide that I don't want to use that as favorites anymore by just right clicking on it I can say remove as favorite and it just takes it out of my list. So that was just real quickly to show you that. Now let's get into bins. There's three types. There's your standard bin, there are smart bins, and there are power bins. And I'll cover each one individually. First of all we'll just go with regular bins. Basically the same thing as folders. Uh, you just manually populate them. And down here in this bottom part you'll have your master bin and that's where you'll be dragging and putting files down in there. But what we're going to do is just right click in this area and say add bin and you can name it anything that you want to. So in this case let's just say I have one that just is images. And that's where I'm just going to put different images that I might have. Another one I might cr decide to create uh, would be like uh, stills, different pictures. So I'll just name this one stills. And then I'm naturally going to have one probably for audio. So I'll create another one called audio. Now to make things even nicer, you can actually color code these. So for example, images, I'm just going to right click on it and then come down to color tag. And I'm just going to make my images, I'm just going to make those green. My stills, I'll right click on it, come down to color tag. And let's just make that red. And then the audio, we're just going to come down here and we'll just make it blue. And I'll show you the reason for doing that a little bit here in just a few minutes. Now, for example, let's go up to our images. And we'll go up here to one of our my directories that I have. And let's go in here. I've just got some YouTube type of videos, images. So I'll pull these down here, Facebook and Twitter. Let's go ahead and create one for YouTube. Also, you could create a, a folder inside, a, I'm sorry, a bin inside of a bin. So for example, I can right click down here and say add bin, and if you notice it, it steps it down. This one I'm just going to call maps. So now under maps, I've got this one image of a map, so I'll pull it down here. And it has a subfolder or sub bin within the images directory. Now since I color coded that one green uh, images, I'm going to go ahead and make the maps images green as well, just so they line up. That way that's all looks the same when I click down. Now what makes this really nice is that when you come down to your edit tab, you've got those bins available to you and they're not cluttered. I can go up to images and there's my Facebook and YouTube. I can go down to maps. There's my one map one. We'll go back over to our media tab and let's look at just steel pictures. So I've got some steels here and let's just grab these of me. And we'll pull them down as I was hiking the Appalachian Trail. Pull these down. These are just people stills per se. Now audio. I've also got some audio images. So let's just call this audio. Let's rename this one. So I'll just right click on it. And I'm going to rename this bin to uh, sound effects. And I have one here that's called uh, effect of a popping sound and effect of a swooshing sound. I'll do that one as well. Under the steels, I've got these steels here. Uh, let's make these rename this one. And we'll call it steels. And I'll just say me. Now let's change that to us since Lucky's with me. So we'll change that to us. 
I'm gonna create another bin down here. And this is gonna be steels as well. But this one, I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna add it as uh, shelter, S-H-E-L-T-E-R. That's the shelter that we stayed at. And let me go ahead and come up here to my steels. And I've got these pictures of Stover Creek shelter that we stayed at. And I'll drop those down here. So now I've got uh, sound effects I've got loaded in here. I've got images. I've got a subfolder. Sound effects. I've got these. Shelter. Now since the shelter and the picture of uh, Lucky and I are, are just pictures, I'm going to make this one red as well. Since they're basically photos. Now then, the reason I did that is for sorting purposes. If I go up under this master right here, right above it, I can say show all or I can sort by the color. So I know that the stills or the photos are actually red, so I can say red. Now it only shows me these that I marked as the red color. Very quick way to sort and find your way through your different bins. Again, over here, since I have that selected, it stayed with it so that only these two were showing. I can go back up here and say show all, and it will show me all my different bins I had created. For example, my maps, my images, and my sound effects. Very simple, very quick way to handle these bins. Now, those are just your standard bins. Now, what comes up next are smart bins. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you go up under view, and come down show smart bins they may or may not already be selected for you so I'm gonna say show smart bins and if you notice it created it down here for me now what smart bins do for you allows you to set parameters for what example I'll come down here to smart bin and I'll right click on it and I'll say add smart bin I'm just gonna call this for the sake of this right I'm just gonna call it smart one and you can give it parameters file name, clip name, real name. I'm just going to go by file name. Contains, does not contain, begins with, whatever you want to set. And I'm just going to put over here effect. And I'll say create smart bin. Now if you notice now when I end within the smart bin, it picked up the files that I had in my other bin of sound effects that were effects. This is effect popping sound and effect swooshing sound. And it found those within my other bins. So for example, I click on these other bins all those files are still there as well as the one the image but if I create a smart bin and click on it and gave it the qualifier of effect now all of a sudden it found those and it allows me to pull those in and uh, they're very fast way of organizing organizing the contents clips using the metadata editor adding scene shot and take information keywords comments description test a myriad of other pieces of information just makes it quicker and easier for you to find it when you need it and that's a smart bin very very good to use next I'll cover what a power bin is power bins are naturally hidden so once again we'll go up to the view and click on it and come down and say show power bin and what power bins do is they carry files across projects. For example, there is a uh, sound clip that I use in all my Appalachian Trail hiking videos that I use as my background music. So I want to keep that for all my videos that I do on the AT and I don't have to go keep searching for it. So what I did is I created me a master power bin and within that is my soundtrack. And this is carried out throughout all projects that I have. And it's just basically just right click on it just like you do other items. And that is a very nice way to have those files available to me across projects and not have to go search for them each time. And again, within the edit tab, you'll find all your other bins, your master bin that's under power as well as your smart bins and all your other ones very quick and easy way to organize your files. I would highly recommend them and it keeps it from getting so cluttered over in your media tab. One other thing I'll just touch on real quickly is if you right click on these and it says open as a new window it brings it up into a new window so now you have all your sound effects 
your master bins, your smart bins, all in this available window that you can move around. If you're using dual monitor but still using DaVinci Resolve under the single monitor, you, you can actually slide this over into your next window or your other monitor. And that way you can have it sitting over on another monitor and still have your regular DaVinci running over here. Very quick and easy way to, to get it going. I hope you found this informative. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.